morning everybody i'm josh <laughs> and i'm rachel and today we are coming to you from our final day here on icon of the seas where we are going to be spending time at perfect day at coco k they have a new adults only section called hideaway that opens today yes. so one of the first paying customers to be able to see it we're really excited to go show you guys and we're actually starting our intro here from the hideaway on icon of the seas which is the only of its kind yep. and we're headed to the hideaway beach which is just over there <laughs> let's go All right, so there is a tram that can get you over to Hideaway Beach, but we generally like to walk. Yeah, so it doesn't we're gonna... take that long, and it's small, or uh, even surfaces, so. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and walk it, and on our way, we're gonna throw you back to past tense Josh and Rachel from yesterday to talk to you about our day from yesterday because we didn't vlog it, so we might as well hit you up with some highlights. Back to Josh and Rachel. All right, I know we said we were gonna have a video for today. I don't think we are. We we're just going up to the pool. We're gonna do some slides and we are gonna see you on day seven, which is in Coco Cay. Um, but we're hopefully gonna to put together some cool videos that um, tell you more about the ship today as well. So no daily vlog. We out. The ultimate dining package gives you twenty dollars worth of food credit here. No, it's not. Kids under twelve eat free. That's kind of interesting. This is the shrimp tostada with an egg on it, whipped ricotta crostini. This stuff looks nice. It does look really nice. I was not expecting it to look this nice. I did the nine ounce filet medium rare. It looks perfect. I've already smushed my garlic on top. Uh, some mushrooms, potatoes, asparagus, but the winner of the meal is, that thing is huge. You look you disgusted. It's so pretty though. <laughs> So we're going to give you a 
probably a quick rundown before this by future Josh and Rachel, but we're present Josh and Rachel, and we want to tell you about our favorite bite of today. My favorite bite of today was the burger at Pier 7. All right. It was so tasty, and it's a place we didn't even realize is a new restaurant. Um, it is an upcharge, but yeah. you get $20 credit yeah. with the meal package, otherwise you pay sticker price yeah but otherwise I thought that burger was really really good I thought the food in general was really I good and the service was great yeah um, so I do recommend that place but I'm gonna go with that freaking tomahawk you better cuz that thing was delicious I better, too. 40 bucks on top of our normal which dining package but yeah still. I mean I I think it was totally worth it the, I agree the, the steak was delicious favorite yeah. moment of today the water slides they were so much fun the water slides were a lot of fun <laughs> and the truth was like Nobody was there. Yeah, it was windy. So one of the rides was closed the the green one that goes up We just call it like a toilet bowl style, but yeah. it's not really it kind of is it's got some zero gravity But there's six water slides on the ship and we rode five of them. So multiple, multiple times. times. Yes. <laughs> yeah it's um, really fun. I am gonna actually go with about ten minutes ago. Oh The one hit wonders. Yeah, party? the one hit wonders party, which yeah. I've never been to I've um, never seen it I don't it know if they've had it before. Yeah. Like, this was the first time we've gone to. Uh, we were just hanging out at the 1400 bar. We had a few good drinks, which 1400 and Ryan Bean. Two Those are our, our two favorite favorites. Bars. Yeah. And yeah. the service was there that you could just feel the energy from the staff, from everybody on board. I mean, it's. Past this is the midnight. most energy I've ever felt on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Especially a And by that, one. I mean. Yeah. All. All cruises I've ever been on because I've been on 12 Royal Caribbean and two princess. Yeah, and those princess cruises were not high energy <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, let's send it back to future Josh and Rachel. Have fun at Coco Cay All right, so if you're walking to Hideaway Beach take a right at Thrill Water Park as I mentioned before, you can take this tram, uh, but we are doing the walk, which the guy said it'd be about five to 10 minutes. You can see it's on sand, but it's nice. It's a really calm day today. We actually saw the balloon up, which that seems to never happen. I don't know if we've ever seen it up. Yeah, usually it's too windy for that. All right, so right after you scan your car to get in, there is a bar. And you can see there's signs here for the hideaway bar and pool, hideaway hut, cabana check-in, slice of paradise, and restrooms. Lots of, looks like more like a cove, little inlet area. Um, but we're gonna find some seats and check this place out. It looks nice so far. It does. It was at an upcharge, I wanna say it was a about 80 bucks a person. I think it was too, about 80 to 90. Yeah, so I'll put the price down below. Um, it's gonna be a fun time, I think. I think so too. All right, so once you get to about the middle part, you can see there's still the beach here and the pool. Here you can see there's a giant pool and there's seating up here as well. But it's like a big infinity style pool. There is a swim up bar. It's kind of similar to Oasis Lagoon, which is the big swim up bar in the middle. This is actually larger than I thought it would be. Yeah. So it's not as exclusive as Coco Beach Club, um, but it's just adults only. Looks fun. beds that are in the water um, and then there's cabanas in the back there looks like they just have a couch couple chairs a couple loungers a fridge I'm sure they've got some staff that wait on them the further you go here's slice of paradise this is a pizza place not open yet though we are here just after opening. Mariner got in and got people off before we did. All right, so we grabbed a, a couple seats 
just in front of Slice of Paradise area. But over here, it seems like these are the real nice cabanas. And they've got their own infinity pool. Check this out. So this is at the very end of it. Um, it looks like amenities wise, they have similar stuff, but like you can see they've got the loungers in the water and then they've got the pool. So that's gonna cost you the most, I'm sure. And there's less of them. The other one's over closer to the pool. But yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty badass. And you can see our ship off in the distance. Uh, we had brought our snorkel gear, but it doesn't look like they let you out of this little area. So I don't think if you're a snorkeler that you're going to want to bring that. Because it's probably just a bunch of sand and not a whole lot otherwise. Alright, so I would say that this appears to be the end of it. And I'm, who knows, maybe they're going to be doing a little bit more here. Because it's kind of a little unfinished looking. Um, but you can see they actually have a little gate over there at the end of the cabanas. It's a decent sized space, a little less water than I was kind of expecting as far as the ocean part. Uh, but the pool is definitely much larger and it always seems like more people gravitate to the pool because there's a bar. I don't see any swim up waitresses at this moment. So in Slice of Paradise, there is a bar as well. I don't think you'll have to go too far to find some bars in this area. I think we're headed to the pool though. Rachel. You ready for some pizza and empanadas? Yeah. All right, two drinks in at the pool. Time for some food. Time for food, yeah. So the pizza place is open, empanadas. I think the snack shack is open too. I saw a line over there. Yeah, we'll have to get, try to get there, but pizza and empanadas first. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see our full experience on Icon of the Seas. We will have daily vlogs showing over 20 different food venues, 30 bars, the world-class entertainment, and an insane pool deck. We also make stops in St. Kitts, St. Thomas, and even check out the brand new Hideaway Beach Club on Royal Caribbean's private island, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. All right, we are starting off early here. Uh, two pieces of pepperoni each, because we weren't sure about the other items. But this was a shrimp escaviche pizza. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm not sure I'd get it again. There's a barbecue chicken one too. I think I'd try that yeah. again. Yeah, uh, it it's seems like different. It seems like it has some shrimp and like a fish ball on it, and then some vegetables. I'm gonna say it's like a fried clam, but I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm saying fish ball. <laughs> uh, this is the chicken empanada. The empanadas are not very big. What, let me see yours. I got the beef one. It's really tasty though. It's got a lot of flavor packed in that little thing. Yeah, so we're gonna have a few of these. This will keep us going for the day though. But it's a really cool spot. All right, we did some research and you can see it actually looks like fried fish and Rachel said it is deep fried snapper. Deep fried snapper. And she's not a fan. Uh, nope, I'll take a pepperoni. Yeah, good thing we got double pepperoni. All right, so uh, we decided to have a little bit more pizza, which this is basically just Sorrento's pizza. If you are, it's Sorrento's yeah, if you're into Sorrento's pizza, you're gonna love it. Um, so here's your cheese, and then this is a like a guava barbecue pizza. So I was kind of wondering because you can see the stripes, and that's just the guava, I think. Okay. All right, Looks so good. we're gonna try literally everything, and also uh, they have Sans, Sans Light, and Kareem here at this bar over at the uh, pizza place, whereas we did not see them at the swim bar, so cheers. cheers. It is super crystal clear. Uh, I will say the water in the ocean is much colder we just came out of warm water, so it is so cold. Yeah, so I'm I'm fairly certain that the pool is warm. Heated. It's heated, yes. Not just warm. Uh, not just heated. naturally warm by body fluids. Yeah. Uh, but that probably has changed has changed things. 
Um, I would say the pool is very nice. Oh, I love the pool. Much more spread out than I expected. I love the pool because of the infinity wall, but then you can see the ocean. Yeah, that you can look at this. So that's the big difference between Oasis Lagoon and uh, the pool here at Hideaway Beach because here you can actually see the ocean, whereas when you're at Oasis Lagoon, you're looking at just a bunch of trees and yeah. families and whatever. This is just beautiful. This is beautiful, but we are gonna try to see what food is like over here. Rachel told me there's a snack shack, which is actually one of the best things here at Coco Cake because you can get mozzarella sticks and a chicken sandwich. Yeah, the fried chicken sandwich is delicious. It is, and the brownie is actually really good too. Yeah, but the other nice part here is, and on Icon they've changed it up. There's more than one, but there's uh, the soft serve ice cream. I've already seen like two spots here. Yes, they <laughs> have soft serve ice cream. Um, you know, we've been trying to decide whether this is worth the money because if you're coming here, you're, you're not really looking to do the rest of the island. Whereas if you're doing the free option, um, you are, yeah, you feel comfortable going to Chill Island, to South Beach, to the Oasis, uh, just eating wherever you want. Um, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. We're, we're not even halfway through yet. We're but, undecided. But we are undecided and uh, we're enjoying it though. Yeah. Uh, it is not the most relaxing because the DJ, there is a DJ at the pool and it's pretty bumping. It is. Um, so you gotta be okay with that. I think my voice just cracked, did you hear that? Yeah, what's wrong with you? I'm changing. <laughs> All right, let's go eat some chicken. All right, we found, they got chicken sandwiches, coconut shrimp, ceviche, hot dog, burger, mozzarella sticks, french fries. We found the long line. There's a reason why. All right, so this is how you do beach food. We got mozzarella sticks, coconut shrimp, chicken sandwiches, and ceviche on the beach. I think the coconut shrimp and the ceviche are new to this side. And maybe they're, they have a new one over there. On the yeah, beach too, we I'm have sure. not seen them not over seen them. at the snack shack. Um, but otherwise, uh, we know we've enjoyed the mozzarella sticks and the chicken sandwich. This one does have um, some extra stuff. It's the hideaway one. It's got like tomatoes, uh, lettuce. The yeah, we wanted the mayo. Otherwise, it'd be a little dry. But this looks pretty damn good. So Rachel did point this out, that there's no seagulls around. If you've ever been to Coco Cay, you always have to fight the seagulls to like not have them eat your food before you eat them. But here, They just aren't trained yet that the adults are over here eating too. Yeah, or maybe the adults watch their food better. I don't know if that's true. It's day one, yeah. this is opening day. Yeah, maybe not yet, but they will. They'll come over here eventually. On the rocks bar. All right, check this out. This is right at the beginning. We walked right by it. Very cool looking spot. Shuffleboard, ping pong. Pool table, Yep, pool table. There's on the rocks. All right, so I think if you want a really cool picture of yourself in the beach, hang out over by on the rocks bar. So on one side, you get a really cool view of the beach area. And on the other side, uh, you get the cruise ships. So just stick around here if you want the cool photo ops. <laughs> All right, a quick little reiteration. Uh, pretty much everything other than cabanas are first come first serve, including there are seven day beds up at the pool um, which we had talked to some of the people that got there and they said it was just first come first serve so get off your ship run to it if you want uh, hammocks seem to come up in pretty pretty freely it doesn't seem like people are spending all day in a hammock but they're not as hard to get into as the, you might think we got a couple hours to go we're still doing pretty good here so I didn't see this earlier but there actually is a little can bar over here at the end of the beach by the cabanas. All right, so we're walking back to the ship. Um, we've had a lot of thoughts on Hideaway Beach. Yes, we have. It, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I love it. Yeah, I do really like it, but I also struggle with the price of it. Right, but do I need to pay for it is my problem because 
One of the joys we have found with Coco K is that so much is included. Yes. And a lot of what you're getting, the drinks all cross over. The mm -hmm. food is very similar. Yep. The chairs are the same. The beach is actually not as good as some of the beaches on Coco K. The pool, um, there That's is. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, the pool was great. And actually, I think the pool is probably the cell. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, and it's got a nice view, whereas Oasis Lagoon on the rest of the island, it's a large pool. There's a good party atmosphere and stuff, but there's not a view. No, and I think that's what sells it. There's like this infinity, huge, huge pool over there that just is comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's just neat. It's a different experience than we've seen before on Coco K. Now we think we <clears throat> paid about $90. This was like opening weekend, basically. Yeah. I feel like the price has to come down closer to like 50 or less. I, I would hope so too. We do have plans to come back again in August. Yeah, we have friends we'll who want to come here and yeah. we want to go with them. Um, but we also are coming here in November and I don't think that we would pay this price to go again. I don't think we would either because there's so much you can do on Coco Cave without right. an included price. Yeah, and I, I had said it earlier, like you almost feel like you should stay there the whole time because you paid for it. Yeah. Whereas if you don't, you know, you can get a chair at uh, Chill Island, you can go snorkeling, you can go to Oasis Lagoon, and you can kind of do a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, whereas this, you're kind of... You're off in a distance for a reason. I mean, and that's yeah. the reason, you know, having that exclusivity of it. But yeah. So we'll see. Um, let us know if you would go, uh, but we're going to go get back on our ship. All right, final night on the ship. Busting out the cherries. <laughs> Busting out the cherries. Yeah, so a special occasion. Uh, I mean, just the final day. <laughs> but we are going to have dinner at Giovanni's and... We have the Wizard of Oz show tonight. Yes. So excited uh, for that. We've heard great things from everybody on the ship. It is the final night. We do have reservations, so we should be able to get a seat. But we're gonna go super early because we've heard that people take spots quickly. Yep. So dinner, show, and we'll see. That's it, should be it? Yes, let's go. All right, our final dinner is gonna be here at Giovanni's where it all began with Hello. lunch day one. 11630, we should have reservations. Definitely our earliest dinner. The sun is still up. And you can see we are going past Norwegian's private island, I believe, which does not look quite as built up as Coco Cay. I mean, I'm sure it makes for a good beach day, but... I'm sure it does too, and anytime there's probably a private island, you likely don't have to have much additional costs. Right, so. and don't you don't have to think too much about it. You yep. just go there, relax. Uh, but Royal Caribbean's done some amazing stuff with theirs. It's really exciting. It's a miracle. <laughs> there's we, some veggies in yeah. there. We right. each got a salad. You know, it's the last night when you gotta like start making up for it. Um, yeah, diet starts tomorrow, but hopefully this will help along the way. Also, they do give these garlic knots, um, which I have really enjoyed. They give some marinara and pesto sauce to dip it in. Rachel's like the olives, I believe. I have eaten pretty much all of them. <laughs> yes. Uh, we got a nice little view. Let's eat. You can't come to Giovanni's and not get a pizza. It's one of the best pizzas on a ship that I've yeah, had. Yeah, I actually, uh, I think Giovanni's pizza is actually, it's definitely the best pizza with Royal Caribbean I from agree. our standpoint. Yeah. Um, this time we went with Meat Lovers. We had done Giovanni's the last two times and absolutely loved it. It's like a hot honey, some pepperoni, salami. Uh, but check this out. Gonna destroy it. As we were walking out, our last time here at Giovanni's, um, we saw just a lineup of filet mignon. It looked so good. And we were like, okay, well, when we go back, I guess we're getting a steak, even though we went to Chops last night. And I'm not disappointed in the way that looks. No, that looks freaking good. And but then... this thing. <laughs> check that out. That is a large chicken parm. But I just felt like doing something different. And this is our third time here, so we're going for different stuff. But I think it's going to be a good dinner. I what do you think? I think it's going to be great. Yeah. All right, there is always room for dessert, and that's even what I just told the waiter. Pistachio panna cotta looks like some fresh blackberries on top. I love that panna cotta. That looks really freaking good. Um, and then we got some lemoncello. 
And then some tiramisu. That tiramisu looks really good. And I'm not a huge, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I didn't used to be. And then we went to Yeah, it's because she had bad tiramisu. <laughs> I did, and now I like tiramisu. <laughs> okay, well, it's dessert time. And it's nighttime. All right, so dinner was really good. It was. Um, then we went to the casino. I won 100 bucks, she won 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Yeah. That's a positive. <laughs> Compared and to the rest of the week, it is definitely a positive. Yeah, and now we, uh, we are here at Wizard of Oz 45 minutes early. Yes. Which the doors open 45 minutes early, not one hour early, which we thought, so we stood outside for 15 extra minutes. <laughs> we did. Um, but we ended up getting this sweet little, you can see there's only like one other um, little balcony area. I love oh. it because it people aren't right behind me. I can move the chair so right. I can at least see above the railing. I well, know it's a short girl yeah. problem. In the balcony, sometimes there's these little rails that kind of get in your view. But if you sit forward in these spots, yeah, you're Which good. you can move the chairs, so that's yeah. helpful. So editing Josh should be showing you our view right now. Um, we are not going to get to show you the show though. See you after the show. All right, we are back in our room. Very small amount of time in the casino after Wizard of Oz, but. No more drinks, no. no more pool. We're tired. We're tired. Seven days on Icon of the Seas is definitely tough. It is. It is. And awesome. It is yeah. tough and awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. One last time to say your favorite bite of the day. I'm gonna have to go with the pizza at Giovanni's. Mm. It was good pizza. Giovanni's pizza. It does not disappoint. No. And on the surface, it may not look like greatly different from Sorrento's, but boy, is it. It is different. Um, I would probably think similar, but just to throw in a different one, uh, the coconut shrimp. That's what I was guessing. <laughs> uh, I thought the coconut shrimp was good. I don't know why they give it with tartar sauce. I think some marmalade would be amazing. Right, or something. Yes. Or nothing. Yeah, you yeah. don't need that. Actually, I just didn't all. eat it with the tartar sauce. That scared me a little. Yeah. Um, favorite moment of the day. I really enjoyed the musical Wizard of Oz. I yeah. thought, or that, I guess it's their Broadway production of it. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It was really good. The, the stage, the setting, the costumes, like literally everything yeah, is amazing. Great. It was really cool. Yeah, it was very good. Another favorite part of the day was just chilling at the pool. Yeah. You know, grab you a can drink. See there's some <laughs> Yeah. Oh look at my face. I know. I think it's from where my hat stopped. Cheating. Yeah. I had a hat and sunglasses and not <laughs> there yeah mm -hmm. it looked like i went skiing or something yeah uh, but yeah it was i really enjoyed the pool we're still torn on whether it's worth the cost or not and but we that, did enjoy it we did enjoy it i'm okay with it costing a little extra i just don't know that i'm okay with it costing 80 to 90 dollars per person extra yeah and i'd like to do some kind of pricing out and see what it looks like as it gets the newness wears off, I yeah. guess, is more what I'm trying to say. Because we were truly there on opening day. Yeah. They just and opened it today. I kind of the season, I'll tell you, everything has been more expensive. And yeah. if you want to see more about that, I do intend to put a pricing as far as I kind of the seas. This was easily our most expensive cruise we've ever done. It was. So there's probably a video that I'll try to post somewhere for you to see. Yeah. All right. Any overall thoughts that you'd like to say? I'm going to ask you, as we talked about earlier, would you do an inaugural cruise again? Absolutely. Yeah. I, you know, we were a little nervous because there was a lot of uh, cruise loggers that kind of talked almost bad about their experience on Wonder of the Seas. Yeah. I had a nothing but a great experience here at Icon. Me too. Um, I thought the staff was awesome. I thought the food was very good. Um, the bar service loved it. They went over the top. Um, they did. You know, Icon really did their bar service way better. Mm -hmm. um, I love the drinks, the specialty cocktails at each location. most most locations. Um, I thought everything was good. What about you? I, I don't disagree. And Josh mentioned he's going to try to put out a pricing video for you guys as well, or again, maybe hit tier wherever. Um, in in addition, and to include in that is I'd like to price it out for a year from now. Because some of the prices we heard people saying they were got a deal on, it's not much different than what we yeah. did planning it a year in advance. So I'd like to price that out too and kind of give you guys that heads up to what you're looking for. Now, you're paying for an amazing ship. You're paying for a resort at sea. 
and you get it. It's yep. amazing. It was really cool. Really cool experience. It was an honor to be on part of the inaugural sailing. I, I would do it again. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. Peace out. Mm -hmm.